Hey guys, welcome back to another 3D ROS tutorial. I just wanted to make a quick video about organising assets. So recently I've been working on a project and it got me thinking I've made all these assets but I never reuse them. I end up making assets that look similar all the time for different projects because my folder system's a mess which means I can't find assets or I have assets I don't even know that I made. So I needed a asset manager and that's when I discovered Connector. So it helps you have all your assets in one place. So as you can see I've started adding a few assets from my project here. And it lets you view the assets like this and you can see wireframes. So you can set your wireframe colour, you can set over type and then set your shader so you can see the wireframes. So it's really handy. So if I open up Maya and just pull this to the side, you can select what asset you want, say this one, and you can just drag it into your scene, and there it is. It's easy as that, and then you can add assets that you want in here. So I've just set up the FBX files. And if you want to show it in Explorer, you can open an Explorer and it brings up the files where it's located. So I can access all my texture maps and the Substance Painter files so I can make changes. So I find this really handy to, to find what assets I need and easily drag them into my projects. So I'm going to quickly show you how it's done. And yeah, so if we create a new Maya file. I'm just going to start off with a turnstile gate I made. So what I'm going to do is create a material. I'm going to create a standard surface shader for Arnold. Change my weight to 1 and add the texture map for the base colour. Which is there. So before I do anything else I'm just going to clean this up. So I'm going to delete all the history and then delete all these groups that I don't need. Right, there we go. So now we have that. Uh, we can, I'm going to just group it together. I'm just going to call this turnstile. the uh, underscore right because we have the barrier on the right hand side dash one and then if you want you can just underscore group just so we know this is a group and we can keep it nice and neat and then I'm just going to add the mesh name at the start of each section. And then change the material name to the name of the mesh. And I'm just going to put underscore mat for material. And then I'm just going to make sure the pivot's where I'd like that does very really matter for this asset. And then I'm just going to freeze the transformations and delete all the history again. And now and just export it out. So I'm gonna to go to the asset library where I've set up my folder system for connector. It'll get you assi assigned that once you've downloaded the program. And then I'm just gonna make a folder called turnstyle dash one. And then I'm just going to give it the same name and export it there. So one thing to note when you export as an FBX and put it into here, it'll only save the colour map, so all your roughness and that won't work. So what I do is, if I go to the turnstile folder I just created, I just add a new folder and just call it textures. And then all the textures I made for that asset 
I'm gonna drag over just I'm gonna include the Photoshop files as well and then I can just zip that so now in connector if we go to the turnstile section if I just right click it locate folder and we turn on extra files we have our texture folder there and if I turn on this icon here it'll show everything in the subfolders and then if I go to images we'll see all our texture maps here and then also I download the zip file if I just want to download all of that together but as you can see our colour map hasn't worked for this and it's all grey but when we drag it into Maya the colour map will be there but it doesn't look good grey because it doesn't give us a good visualisation of what the model looks like so I'm just going to go back to Maya and I'm just going to add my PBR texture map such as the roughness just do this really quickly obviously you don't have to do this if you don't have any roughness maps if you've just got the diffuse that's fine Okay, so once you've got the maps set up how you want them, uh, I'm just going to add my emission map as well, just to make it look a bit more presentable. Okay, so now we've got that set up, I'm just going to add a light. If you're using a different version of Maya, you don't have to worry about the Arnold render. Just render it how you would in Maya software or Mental Ray or whatever you like to use. So I'm going to go to the render settings and just choose 1K square. Just we want it square because the thumbnail is going to be square. And if you turn on your resolution gate, we'll get a good idea of framing and we'll just set up our first angle like this and hit render uh, I'd like a bit larger so I'm just going to zoom in a bit more obviously the more you zoom in the more perspective it'll force on it so you can just render it further out and then crop it in Photoshop so we're just going to wait for this to render. <coughs> okay, so once it's rendered, I'm just going to go up to File, Save Image. And then I'm going to find the location where we saved our asset. Turn to Style 1. And in this folder, I'm just going to put Preview-1. So this is our first preview image. And then for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to do a second one real quick. Render that out. And then, same again. Once that's rendered out, you want to go to File, Save Image. Find the location again. I'm just going to call this one Preview 2. So now if we go to Connector, we'll find the asset. And if we fill the image files, the images will be there. And then we can just drag the image that we want first under there, and the second one. And what that will do is, it will add the thumbnail as the image. And if we right click View Gallery, you can see those images here. So this allows you to easily view the assets and what they look like and if they're suitable for the project you're working on. So again, you can just have it in here and drag the asset in. 
and there you go. And then you can easily see what it looks like in this folder system. And as I said before, if you go to all assets and click show subfolders, it'll show all the assets and all of the folders that are in your asset library. And just like I've done with the rest, you can add tags. So the turnstile is a game ready asset. It's not really furniture, it is technology, so I'm going to add it in the that section. So if you go asset library again, I can just go to each individual section, see if I just wanted game ready assets, I'll click here. Or if I'm doing a high poly render, don't mind, I can show the high poly and game ready assets. So for that you just you can select both of them and then you can show combined or show object if you have show combined it'll show only objects with high poly and game ready but if you show all it'll show the ones that are tagged high poly and the ones that are tagged game ready so just to as assign the tag you just select the mesh you want to assign and just press the tick on the tags and to create a new tag you just press the plus here and you name it whatever you want and then you add that object to that tag so then that way if you click that tag you just see the objects relating to that field so as you can see I put stuff related to computer or technology furniture game ready assets and this just obviously helps you sort your assets out so you can easily see what they look like and obviously you can do the same with texture maps or the preview images and add as a separate tag so I can just search for them and of course you can search file names so if I wanted a book I just search books and there's my selection of books so yeah if you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing to 3D Ross on YouTube. It'll help me out a lot. And yeah, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, the link in, will be in the description for Connector. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just found this really helpful for me personally anyway. Just to sort out all my assets. So yeah, if you found it helpful, give me a like and let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.